say too much about too much but I'm over here fishing I'll show you where I fish usually this little place right here so you've got all that kind of stuff you got your pretty grass you got some pretty sunset right there you know and that's what I do and I just want to tell you all that uh, a lot of people don't realize but uh, El Campo Texas is a pretty good place to be back in the 60s uh, uh, I'm Freddie Koenig and I had a band called Freddie Koenig in the Jades you know and I want to tell you all that old Glenn Campbell, he used to play with us every now and then. You know, when we brought him to Hilgey Hall and played, no, Tayton Hall, sorry, I made a mistake. Because we played both places a lot. But um, he played Tayton Hall with us, you know, and uh, some other places in Houston and stuff. And I uh, uh, just wanted y'all to know that uh, he used to come over like to El Campo, Texas, to my house. My mother would fix him some chicken. We'd all sit out in the backyard and eat some fried chicken. And, and old Glenn Campbell, he'd always, he'd always, he's very polite, you know, southern gentleman kind of guy. And he'd always say, uh, thank you, Inez, you know, for the chicken. And he'd look up there with that greasy mouth. You know, back then we used lard to fry him in. So I just want to tell you all that. Uh, Glenn Campbell's a uh, personal friend of mine came over to my house in El Campo at my, at my mother's house at the time I was just 16. So uh, that's, that's the story about El Campo, Texas and Glenn Campbell. A lot of people don't realize that. So that's kind of why I made this video, you know, to let y'all know something about something that uh, it don't matter too much to too much, but it matters a lot to a lot. So there you go. I'll see y'all later. I love y'all and bye. Y'all take care of yourself. I try to do the same. Yeah, I got to thinking. I just wanted to add one little thing about what I said a while ago about Glenn Campbell. Um, I, I'm gonna brag a little bit. I played with the best, you know, back in the back in the '60s, and Glenn Campbell was. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. But I played, you know, with Bobby Bland and his guitar player. And uh, man, I can't even name them all. You know, uh, Bo Diddley and the whole thing, you know, but uh, I'm just going to tell you what, when we played Tate and Hall, uh, and Glenn Campbell got up on stage, you know, the kids didn't know anything. They smart kids, a lot of them Bohemian, Czech, German, whatever, you know, and, uh, but, uh, man, they, they, they knew he was good, but, you know, we were musicians, man. He blew us away, man. Glenn Campbell, he got up on stage, and, and the Jays was watching, and the guitar players in the Jays, man. We were like mesmerized, man, I'm telling you. So I just want to tell you all that, how good he was. Uh, he was a, a guitarist player, guitar player, a showman, showman, singer, singer, a nice guy's nice guy, uh, everything you can think of. And he come to a little old town like El Campo, Texas, and play a little old town smaller than El Campo and play Tate and Hall. So he must have been a good guy. We didn't pay him all that much, you know, because we didn't have that much, but uh, he was a good gigger, man. He hung with us and uh, he played the game. And then uh, we, we kind of think, uh, we, every, every little blessing he's had along the way, we kind of say, thank you, you know, thank you, Jesus, kind of sort of thing, okay? Now I'm gonna check y'all later. I love y'all still and bye. Huh? <laughs>